Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited because the Luck Library's October box is here and they have appealed to the little Halloween devil in me. Look at that, I like this box. And they've changed it to a little skelly. I love it. Oh, hello babies. You can have this box in a minute. It's not quite open yet. As you can see, someone is also quite excited for a new box. Hi. Um. So I guess I better open it to stop her from getting upset um, because she'll start screaming at me in a minute because she's become very noisy at, thank you, and demanding in her old age. I can't get into it, Tink. Oh, baby. No, those are scissors. Don't touch them. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. I absolutely adore that they changed the colour of the box for Halloween. I think that's amazing. Oh, this is, this is a chunk. All right, sweet pea. There you go. I don't quite think you're going to fit in it, but you, you're going to try. She's going to try. She is going to try. Yeah, well, my camera is not being very great. Okay, and I like that they've changed the little shh I'm reading thing to like Halloween colours as well. I mean, she's realised that she can't quite lay down in her spooky new box. No. You, okay, he's still going to try. So I have seen some spoilers for the sprayed edges, which is kind of annoying. I know the Lock Library was super excited to be doing a Halloween thing, but I feel like they should have maybe kept some of it secret, like a surprise, maybe do like little teasers bits, but not the whole sprayed edge. So we have got The Book of Witches, edited by Jonathan Strahan and illustrations by Alyssa Winans. And that is the front cover. Oh, it's got shinies on it. I didn't realize that. Oh, look at the little gold orangey shiny bits. And then on, we've got that on the side. Um, something Wicked, this way comes on the back. A bewitching anthology featuring stories by, and then it's got a list. So we've got stories by Linda D. Addison, P. Jelly Clark, Kathleen Jennings, Tade Thompson, Ken Liu. What are you doing? No, why are you going after the scissors? <laughs> Ken Liu, Darcy Little Badger. Andrea <laughs> Hairston, Alia Dawn Johnson, Cassandra Kaur, Toby Ogundrian, Gundiran, I'm pronouncing all these names so wrong, Kelly Robson, C.L. Clark, Millie Ho, uh, Indra Pramrit Das, Sad Z. Hossein, Hossein, Garth Nix, ooh, okay, Primi Mohammed, Maurice McHugh, Andrea Stewart, Tochi Onibuchi, uh, Cherie Renee Thomas, Angela Satter, Fonda Lee, Usman T. Malik, E. Lily Yu, Miyuki Jane Pinkard, M. Lee Tang, <laughs> Amal L. Mortar. Why, why are you suddenly, like... Normally her spot on the bed is, like, right next to me here, and she's decided that she wants to be here, because that's where I've put the scissors and I've moved them. Um... And this is the sprayed edge that we saw. Very cool, very Halloween. Love the orange and black vibes. Um, they did show the thing as a whole, which I thought was kind of disappointing because I'd have liked to have been surprised by it. Maybe if they'd just done like a spoiler for like that. Front and bottom, just plain. Um, and let's see. Oh, okay, that is nice. Oh, I love that. So continuing with like the orange and black theme. We've got that beautiful cover. We've got our nice little matching key and top there. Back's just plain. Um, no inside artwork, but that's fine because this is pretty cool anyway. I really like that. I think that's nice. I definitely prefer that over the dust jacket. I think the dust jacket is a bit like, they could have done more with it. I feel like that's me personally. Um, so then, on the inside of the dust jacket, we've got a pinch of fairy tale, a measure of myth, a dash of lore, a hint of horror, and twig of broom and hair of cat, a hint of magic, the wing of bat, then brew beneath the darkest moon, so witches will be with you soon. In the Spellbinding Short Story Collection, award 
Winning editor Jonathan Strand <laughs> brings together tales both enchanting and terrifying by modern masters and emerging voices of science fiction and fantasy. Could you stop? That really tickles. <laughs> why, don't, why don't you come round here? You've got a box. Oh, you can sit on my lap if you want. Yeah, do you want to sit on my lap? Because you've been doing that quite recently. Let's carry on. Now that she's not, like, digging into the back of me. Um, so, in this spellbinding short story collection, award-winning editor Jonathan Strahan brings together tales both enchanting and terrifying by modern masters and emerging voices of science fiction and fantasy, featuring the illustrations of Alyssa Winans and Witches, Wicked, Good, and Everything in Between. This anthology is sure to cast a spell on you. And Jonathan Strahan is a... He's taking a close of my leg is a world fantasy award-winning editor, anthologist, and podcaster. He has edited more than 90 books and is review editor for Locus and a consulting editor for Tor.com. You're really hurting. <laughs> and co-host and producer of the Hugo Award-winning Code Street podcast. Um, Alyssa Winans is a three-time Hugo Award-nominated illustrator, animator, and game artist. Her clientele include Google and Warner Animation Group. Lovely. Very nice. Baby, you are very painful. Very hurting. Please stop trying to bake biscuits on my leg. Or like on any part of me as you seem to be doing tonight. Oh, that's upside down. So I don't know I don't know if there's an author's letter in here. There is! Let's read it. Why are you bum shuffling backwards? There's nowhere for you to go. We're on the edge of the bed. I'm really sorry about Tink today. She's been a massive baby the last kind of couple of weeks. Um, I mean, it's because she's old. Oh, but okay, we're going. We're we're, just, we're gonna try the box again, apparently, because it may have changed since the last time. So, dear locked library reader, welcome to the Book of Witches. You are holding a very special locked library edition, the first ever collection of sto short stories from the library, and it is magical. Don't do it. We all love long stories, the kind that you can get lost on, in on a dark, stormy night. But there's something magical about a book that takes you into many worlds, gives you new stories by beloved writers, and introduces you to new favourites you'll be reading for years to come. That's what the Book of Witches does. What makes it even more magical is that we are all gathering around a cauldron filled with fantastical tales of witches from all around the world. It's hard to imagine that any reader that doesn't have a favourite witch, whether it be Glinda the Good or the Wicked Witch of the West from The Wizard of Oz, Maleficent from Sleeping Beauty, Granny Weatherwax, Nanny Og, and Margaret Garlic from Terry Pratchett's Discworld, or Kiki from Miyazaki's Kiki's Delivery Service. But as magical, dark, and enchanting as those enchantresses are, oh my god, I can't speak, enchantresses are, I knew there would be more out there. A stunning world of witches, male or female, young and old, that could fill the pages of a book like this one. I was determined to bring them to you, and I think I have. The journeys to follow are funny and dark and thrilling and terrifying, and all points in between, and they are all magical. These are now some of my favourite witches, and I think by the time you're done, they'll be your favourites too. Ah, so yay. And of course, we have a bookmark ribbon. Ah, oh, there goes the cover. In black, just to go with black and orange theme, which I'm loving. Very Halloween vibes, as you can see by my, like, pumpkin bed in there. Um, I'm looking forward to reading this. Perfect that it's... I was getting worried that it wasn't going to turn up before Halloween. Um, glad that it has. Um, I'm going away to Comic-Con next week, so I was like, oh, it's not going to turn up in time. I wanted to take this with me to read um, for my evenings, for the after parties and Thursday evening and... Sunday evening. Don't get cats. <laughs> I kid. I love her to pieces. I don't know what she, why she's now suddenly obsessed with this particular spot. Um. <laughs> Please. <laughs> no. Um. Yeah, I was really worried that this wasn't going to turn up. Um. My order still said. It had yet to be fulfilled. Um, and now it has been. And it's here. And it's pretty. I definitely think this could have been more Halloween-y. Like, I like the gold. And I do like the little stars on that bit. Um, but it's 
I don't know, it just feels kind of bland for a Halloween book, but the edges are nice, the undercover's nice. It's spooky. Um, I didn't have in Luma Crate last year for Halloween, but I had Fairy Loot, and the book wasn't very like Halloween vibey. Um, I don't know if we're gonna get Halloween vibes this year um, from the pair of them, now that they have like a sort of competitor, I guess. Um, I love that they have like customized the hell out of the box and made it orange and Halloween. I'm keeping the box. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it if Madam decides that she doesn't want it. Um, I will find something to use spooky Halloween box for because it's super cool. She's breaking it. That's great. Um, so yeah, I am so glad that this turned up. I was really worried that I was gonna miss it or it was gonna not be delivered before I went away next week. Um, but yeah, I am excited to read it as always if you've liked this video and you've liked Tink harassing the hell out of me today for some reason. Um, like and subscribe. If you subscribe you'll get notifications every time I put a new video up. If you like Tink, then she's often in my videos. Sometimes not generally asleep, not often being as much of a menace as she was today. Um, but she's great. Look at her. Have, she's having a bath now in her new box. So if you like the pair of us, like and subscribe. If not, that's cool. If you want to know my thoughts on this, it will be on my website soonish, which I will put in the box below. Um, I am going to try and publish this um, review for Halloween. We shall see. This is chunkier than I was expecting. There is a black page there that's not part. Oh cool! They've got like little things inside, like illustration stuff. I wonder if there's going to be loads of pictures in. Oh there is! Creepy little hand. Oh that's cool. Um, Someone did actually guess that this was going to be the Locked Library October book. Um, so me being me, I was a little bit curious and decided to Google it. Oh, she made... No, she's broken the box. She's made it in, but she's flattened it out. So I guess that's hers now and I don't get to use it. Um, never mind. Yeah, so I Googled this. Um, it was Halloween-y. Obviously, it was Witches. That was kind of the hint that they gave. Um, it was yet to be published. It's by Harper Voyager. So I was like, mm, this is all lining up pretty much with what the Locked Library does. And then I was like, oh, but it's a children's book. So is it going to be this? Because everywhere is listing this as a children's book. Um, but by the very inclusion of Garth Nix, I feel like maybe not so children's and more young adult. Um but who knows, we'll see. Um, especially if there's some terrifying ones in here. That, that is not for kids, so like maybe some stores need to reevaluate. Um, but yeah, so I will try and get this read and a review done. Probably I'm going to put it up on Halloween. I will have my standard Monday post, but then I will try and aim to get this one actually out on Halloween because I just think that's a neat idea. Um, and I will see you guys for the next video. I'm sorry about Tink and my just general reaction to her today because I wasn't expecting her to be a giant baby. I thought she would just come up and go to bed with me or not not with me like she would sit next to me and go to bed like she normally does but today she just decided she was going to be a menace to society. So okay I will see you for the next video.